Hello everybody, um, this is a tutorial to show you how to make um, a ballerina pom-pom. Um, um, the t the pom-pom is actually made out of um, tulle netting and it is wound the same way as what you would with a yarn pom-pom um, but instead you're using netting instead. I've got this green one which has got glitter um, through it which I thought would make a really nice tutu. I haven't made it yet. Um, so yeah, you just wind both both sides up like you would with yarn, but you use tulle instead. So um, the design is made of two hoopings. There's two hoopings in this design. One hooping is for the um, ballerina's body. In the arms, in this part here, you're going to put a um, a pipe cleaner. Any colour pipe cleaner, it doesn't really matter because the pipe cleaner is going to be inside the um, the design itself so you're not going to be able to see it and then you can pose her arms um, whichever way you want them to be, as you see, like that. Um, the body is gently stuffed and um, the design has her hair on the back and her face on the front. It took some working out how to do it, but I got there in the end. I've changed the design slightly from the upload that I did on my group. Um, I've made this look like it's around her neck now instead. And the stuffing goes right the way up to the shoulders. So, um, I'm going to start off by opening up this um, tall netting um, pom-pom because I haven't opened it yet. You're going to need to be a little bit more careful with this one because it's quite thick um, and it might open on you. So um, the same again, you're going to have to wind it twice. Um, so I'm going to cut it out and I'll be back with you shortly. So I've cut the both sides out and I've tied my um, thread around twice, double knotted it twice. So it should be um, nice and secure in there. So that's the, the pom pom. Doesn't it look lovely already? Covered in glitter already. Great stuff. And that's one side. And that's two sides, right. Put your pom pom maker together. Put it in a safe place for the next time. And that is your pom pom. So what you need to do is you can see where the um, the center line is where we've put it together. I'm going to close up the center line and expose the center of the pom pom because we're going to put the body on one part of this pom pom and we're going to put the legs on the other the other side of the pom-pom okay so I'm going to cut this bit out here because I don't need that make sure that your um, your glue gun is on and ready move that out of the way and now that the pom-pom's done and we can see the center lines the center part of the um, the pom-pom there it is there and there. That's that's exactly the centre. That is going to make a fantastic skirt for our little ballerina. Right, so now we're going to go on to the body. Glitter absolutely everywhere. Look at that, all that glitter. Lovely. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the body. Um, the hand is already attached to this side of the arm and there isn't a hand on this side of the arm. So because you're going to be putting a pipe cleaner through it, you don't have to put a pipe cleaner through it, but if you don't put a pipe cleaner through it, you can't manipulate where the arms are going to be. They just stay out like that. And um, you're going to have to attach the little hand 
um, with glue, uh, so that she doesn't look doesn't look um, unbalanced. Um, I've found out that if I use um, where's my put there it is. If I use my paintbrush, which I've got here, and I go through the arm first and just make myself a little tunnel so I can go right the way to the, fing uh, the fingertips, it helps when I put the, um, the pipe cleaner through. The pipe cleaner needs to be cut 13 centimetres, which will go to the end of her hand and just stick out enough for the other hand to go on as well. So you're going to feed the pipe cleaner through right the way to the tip of the fingers and that is going to be sticking out that much which is perfect and the pipe cleaner is right the way through which is brilliant. Then you need to um, do the same with this little hand because the little hand is cut out um, on this body design. It goes there. So you're going to cut that one out. Make sure you remember to cut your jumps off. And the hand has a back and a front. The thumbs, these little, little tiny bits here. These little bits here are the thumbs. Thumbs need to point downwards. Then get your, um, your paintbrush. And give yourself a little hole so that... The pipe cleaner goes in really easy. I've made a little hole there, and then the pipe cleaner is going to go in the hand like that. And then you're just going to add a little dab of glue to it. Okay, so I'm going to add a little dab of glue to it so then it's done. Make sure I get all these little bits out. It's the only thing with cutting pipe cleaners, all their little furry bits come off. The little fibres off of the, the pipe cleaner itself. Let me try that again. Right, holes created. Put it on your pipe cleaner. Like that. Thumbs facing downwards. So add a little dab of glue to this. You literally need the tiny, tiniest amount. If it blobs out, don't worry. Don't try and take it off while it's wet. Wait for it to dry. Take it off then. Put the tiniest amount on the front. Come on, little glue. There we go. This is going to blob, but I'm not worried because I'm going to cut it off afterwards. Okay? So that's a blob of glue there. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it off. Just as I'm going to cut that little jump off there. Right, so the arms are in now. Now we're going to gently stuff the body. Go behind your stabiliser, don't try and go in front of it. Because if you go be if you go in front of it, you're only going to get up to this part here. So go behind the stabiliser. And stuff the body. There we go. Pop it in. More fingers and thumbs this morning. There we go, it's going in now. A little bit more. There we go, little body. She's got a little body and she's stuffed. Oh, that bit's dry now. I'll cut that off. And cut that one off. There we go. 
Right, now we're going to match up the legs. In the leg hooping design, there's three pairs of legs, and they are like that. They're like that. So they do three at a time, and it stops on each of the, the colours. So you change the legs over. So on today I'm going to use the, the green ones to go with the green tutu. Um, and they are, they've got a centre line in here and you just stuff the legs gently um, to give the legs a bit of a shape. I've already done these ones. And the obviously their legs are, they're, they're front and back, they're double sided. So the... The little girl is going to be added to her tutu here, like that. And the legs are going to be added to the bottom of the tutu, like that. Okay, so we're going to open up the pom-pom, find the centre, which is there. See it there? That's the centre. And we're going to add the glue to the um, the base of the body and we are going to add the body to the tutu by opening up the body hold it for a few seconds let the the, um, the glue dry and then um, we need to add the, the legs the same way. You don't want to add the legs that way because then we ran the wrong way. So you need to add them so that it looks like it's her complete body going through the tutu. So again, add the glue to the, um, the legs. I don't even know which is the front and the back of these legs. They've done that well. I think that's the front. And then that's the body. Open up the pom-pom and put the legs into the pom-pom. Then squeeze the tool around it. Hold it for a few seconds just to let the, the tutu dry. <laughs> She's got an absolutely huge tutu, this one got a few long bits oh no I haven't that's an extra bit I've got a few long bits here I'm gonna cut off I think Ellie Ballerina would be happy with this too too don't you and then all you need to do now is add a, um, a hanging loop to the head I can see that I can see the band here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of my glue just around the band like that and all I'm going to do is pinch the two two together and that will hide the band no one will ever know look at that it's gone and the same again with the back find there he is it's even my toy knot that see there find that and trim that down a little bit more cut them knots off And then add a bit of glue to that and again pinch the tool the netting together then all you need to do is add a hanging loop to her head they are going to look absolutely fabulous I've got another two more to make when I've made them I'm going to take a lovely photo of all of them they are going to look absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to add a hanging loop to her head just by threading the thread through her head. If you want to, you can add the um, your ribbon loop through the head when you're stitching. Um, but I didn't do that. But you can. Make the design your own. There it is. So I'm just going to thread the loop through her head, like so, and then 
um, tie the knot nice and tight. Try and make your knots, if you are doing it this way, try and make your knots nice and tidy. Don't let them go all loopy and yucky. And to make the knot nice and nice and tight, I always pull it that way and trim the ends off. Like that. There we are. Look at that, isn't she fabulous? Let's give her a twirl. Are you ready? Ta-da! Fabulous.